Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I have to fix the camera again. There we go, I've got a Dollar Tree haul and yeah, I'm straight up in my pajamas. It was my late night at work and now I'm home and we're going to show you some of the things I purchased. Most of this stuff is for my gingerbread party that I'm having with my cousin and her daughter. There's going to be six 12 to 13 year olds, or I would say probably 11 to 13 year olds. And then my niece Sarah and I and my cousin Debbie's, there will probably be 10 of us making gingerbread houses. So I bought, I always buy extra candy because the kids come with some, but we need more, better, better candy. Yeah. So I picked up some more. So I'm going to show you my small but mighty haul that I have here for today. First things first, I picked up these baking pans. This is, I believe, an eight by eight, if I had to guess. I don't really have to guess, but it's like an eight by eight. And they have, it's a two pack with lids. Um, for Thanksgiving, for my keto, I'm making a pumpkin cheesecake bar thing. So I figured I would make two, Put well, one recipe will make two small ones of these, and then I'll stick one in the freezer and have it for later for me. So I grab a two pack of those and I like that they come with the lid. Um, I will probably cover it with like press and seal in the freezer, but then when I travel with it, I'll put the lid on it. So I got that, a pack of those. Those are great. I mean, they're not the best quality, but they're definitely good for one day use, you know? Mm. Hot tea in my new, one of my new cups. Thank you, Al Pacino. That's a channel here on YouTube. If you haven't checked her out, I will put a link below. But she sent me this cup and the red one that I didn't get to have because of my Starbucks. Wouldn't let me have one sugar-free. So I have some hot tea tonight. It's a little chilly here. I'm over my cold. Um, I bought, just to tell you, I bought some throat coat tea with eucalyptus for respiratory i mean it worked but boy was it not yummy but i drank it because it the the herbs help coat my throat and make it not hurt so much and it really did help with my cough um, i think it's eucalyptus spearmint there's some other oh elderberry bark bark of elm some type of bark i don't know i drank it and i just closed my eyes and drank it and i still have oh that's not it i have my nosy thing all right so, onward, onward. The other things I picked up, oh, cinnamon stick. These uh, little sachets, I'm gonna put these in my car to smell of Christmas. I was looking for the pine, but I found cinnamon, which I think is good, and then I found cranberry. Oh, cranberry is gonna be good for Thanksgiving. And then the cinnamon is stronger, but I like them both. I'm going to try the cranberry first tomorrow. I'm going to open up one bag, put it in the car, and see how that works. And if that's not good, then I have a second. Um, but I'm on the hunt for the pine for Christmas time. But the cinnamon works good, too. So I grabbed two of those. Um, I just love smelly good stuff for the holidays. Um, I forgot I found this in New Jersey. Guys, this is a makeup brush cleaner this would be a perfect stocking gift um if you know somebody who's into makeup so what you do is you hold this on your two fingers and this um you you can use brush cleaner for makeup brushes or baby shampoo and then you use this to you know scrub your makeup brushes and get all the makeup off but what i'm gonna use this for are my paint brushes to get them really clean. So I thought that would be perfect. For me, um, I use makeup brushes, but not a whole, whole lot. So for me, I'm gonna use this with my paint brushes because I do more crafting than I do foundation. My skin is so dry. When I put foundation on, you could, it looks scaly like snake-like. So we don't do that. But anywho, I grabbed one of those. But this would be a perfect, perfect stocking gift or a little, um, office gift if you had somebody that you worked with that you know wears a lot of makeup because cleaning your makeup brushes is important all right the other crafty thing and i picked up two bags of these these are i don't know if you can see them because there's a glare in here today but 
They're star beads in gold, silver, I think it's just gold and silver. I thought when I was in the store, I saw like a brassy color, but I think it's just silver. Oh, it is. Silver, gold, and like a bronzy brassy. So there's three different colors. I grabbed two packages of these to decorate my little Christmas tree. Um, and to string them, instead of string, I bought some gold floral wire. The benefit to using like a floral wire opposed to a string is it's bendable and you can put it exactly where you want it and it will stay. Um, I'm not real good with like garland and tinsel stuff. I just don't have a lot of experience. But with this type of thing, I know that it will um, stay put where I tell it to. Hopefully it listens to me. I don't know where the end is. Oh, down here. Um, so this is pretty, oh, I don't know where it is. I'll figure it out. But it's pretty fine floral wire. And they have it in, it came in red, black, gold, silver, blue. I grabbed the gold because my tree is going to be red, black, gold, and white. So I'm going to string these beads. And I will do a video on how I'm decorating and making this Dollar Tree tree look a little more plump. So I needed, I needed, I wanted those for that project. And I finally found these. I've seen them other people hauling them in years past but I've never seen them in my store these are wire I mean they are literally wire like Christmas tree picks and if you notice like I'm just fluffing it out everything is on a wire instead of on a um, like plastic so you can really fluff these up and they have some gold, they had silver ones too, a little bit of gold, some burgundy berries, a pine cone, and then just some greenery. These are gonna be lovely in a um, taller, I have a pretty big mantle, so I'm thinking a taller um, floral arrangement or on my front porch, I have a planter that I put out there, like a pot with some greenery in it on my front porch, so somewhere this will get added but it's pretty big and I like that it's tall I love things with height when I'm decorating I haven't decided my scheme yet for my mantle I have a couple different ways I could go but when I start decorating it will come to me and I will bring you along or at least show you but I grabbed two of these in the gold because I think that's plenty for me so I have that now the rest of the stuff which isn't a lot but I will show you is for um, decorating the gingerbread houses and how I'm gonna set it up with the kids so like I said there's gonna probably be ten of us decorating our own individual pre-made houses they're like $9.99 I think and I think at Joanne they might be like $12.99 and I want to um, go in there and see if I can use a coupon to get mine so they have lots of different houses out and they're pre so what I like and for the kids is great to get them pre glued together with the royal icing because you don't that's a hard time for the kids to wait for it to be able to decorate so we buy the pre made ones now I do make extra royal icing to bring for the decorations because I'm obviously bringing extra candy so we'll probably need more glue which is royal icing now because we're not eating this stuff um, I make it with egg whites and powdered sugar and I whip it up in my mixer and I can show you how I make the royal icing it's not gonna hurt anybody if they eat it but if you're opposed to using egg whites you can use meringue powder but I just use two egg whites and a bunch of powdered sugar and whip it up until it's a consistency that I like and then I bring it because well inevitably somebody's going to run out or um, I for myself want to decorate the cardboard or tray that it's sitting upon so there's that so I needed some containers so I grabbed two of these because they're nice and long and these can go down the center of the table they can slide you know we can put one at one end one at the other and put the different candies you know just fill these up with candy it doesn't have to be one type of candy but fill them with candy so probably what I will do is split everything in half and have two of them one at each end of the table with candy that the kids can just reach in eat do whatever and then I grab two of this size sorry I'm loading a video two of this size bowl this comes in a two-pack and I'll show you what this is gonna be for 
So the first thing I picked up are these peppermint sticks. Um, they're pretty sturdy if you've never eaten them before. Um, what I love to do with these is um, half dip them in chocolate, like melting chocolate, and put sprinkles, like white snow looking sprinkles on them, and I stick them in with my cookie trays. It's super cute, and you can put them in your coffee or your hot chocolate or whatever. Um, but we're going to decorate, and I think these are fun to use you know on your houses so I grabbed two packages of these for the kids and if I decide at a later time when I'm shopping that we need more I can always pick up more um, the one thing I would say check your package um, sometimes they're broken or like in this case I have four of them that are stuck together which is just annoying so when I'm able to oh, there we go separate them with if you're gentle you can separate them without breaking them Good. Okay, so we have plenty of these for everybody. I have two packs. I think that should be enough of peppermint sticks. But so you can use them on the house. Like I'm going to put them on the four corners, I think, of my gingerbread house. Or you can use them as fencing. Or you can use them to line your sidewalk. Whatever. I mean, these are kids. They're going to have fun. And in the same vein, I got a bag of Starlight Mints. Um that they can, I will probably unwrap all of this and put them in baggies. Maybe not if they're gonna wanna eat them, but um, just some Starlight Mints. These come in red and green. I just got the traditional red for right this second, but those are fun to decorate as well. And you can also put those like on the side of the house or you can make a wreath out of one for over the door or make it a window. There's so many things you can do. You just need your imagination. I still need more candy, but this is what I picked up so far. I grabbed a pack of red vines. Um, we can cut these. We can circle them to make a wreath. They can use these to line up. They can glue them on the roof to make the peak or make like Christmas lights. I mean, there's a whole bunch of stuff you can do with some Twizzler or type. You can do Twizzler or red vine. It doesn't matter. I wanted the red vine because I think they're a little flatter. And I will have a knife or scissors to cut. I probably will just do the cutting for the kids if they want them. Um, but these are fun to have. I grabbed two boxes of Mike and Ike's in the Christmas colors. So these are, um, I believe they are, yeah, they're green and red. Different color, two colors of green and some red. And again, these 100 things you can do. One thing you can totally do is cut them in half and stick an M&M on the end with the royal icing and they look like Christmas lights around your house. I've seen that. So I grabbed two boxes of those. And again, there's going to be 10 houses that are being decorated. So for now, I will definitely have more candy. And remember, I bought the gingerbread men too. And the last thing I picked up tonight were two bags of this sweetened fancy flake coconut. I'm not eating it, but oh, this is super cute if you want the look of snow. So what you could do is put a row of frosting or a line of frosting on your house and then sprinkle some coconut and it'll look more fluffy like snow. So I grabbed two bags of that and that's what the bowls are for, one on each end of the table so the girls can just reach in and do their thing. Um, the other candies I've bought so far is some sprinkles just to have because I think that will be super cute on a sidewalk. So we have sprinkles, I have the gingerbread houses. Um, what I need to buy are M&Ms and some other little candies. I think airheads would be fun if they wanna like cut them up or whatever. But I'll just continue to keep buying a little bit of candy here and there when I see it. But like the Christmas candy for the stockings, you really need to get it when you see it because they're already starting to run low. So that is everything um, that I bought this time around at the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna show you something super fun. Um, I was at New Jersey. So I live in Ohio. I'm a Buckeye fan, if anybody doesn't know that. But we went, my brother and I drove to New Jersey over the weekend to see the Buckeyes play at Rutgers. And it was super fun. And Geico was there handing out jazz hands. I mean, come on guys. Who doesn't need jazz fingers? Oh, my pinkies are not doing well. Who doesn't need jazz hands? They were not very warm, but they were fun for like 10 minutes until my hands got cold and then I put on my real gloves. <laughs> but they were giving these away and so I thought they were super fun. So I grabbed them. 
All right, everybody, that is it for the Dollar Tree haul today. Um, I need to do some cleaning in this craft room because it's a hot mess. I've got stuff everywhere. It's time to start wrapping presents and get them downstairs so that I have some room to move around up here. Uh, but that is it for tonight, guys, and I will talk to you later. Bye.